Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Other Than Education, the English Council, and it's a Friday. Friday. I usually have my Friday song so that you know that it's Friday. I hope you're not working on the weekend. Are you? Right. Okay. So we are talking about collocations, and we are going to end the lesson today about home. The, the, the verbs that you can use at home, using like the uh, how to use collocations at home in the kitchen uh, at the table or like it can be with a door it can be with a house your home i was talking about some grammar rules from the beginning i mean we were talking about a lot of things that you can simply use at home right bore what hari manke instructions denna den baba lata ame ema paavichi kala samahara wela ata api kiyen ekak thamai ane emata english katha karanna tanak nehane kenek nehane me wage collocations paavichu kara podi instructions tikak denna ogolata paavichu karanna puluwang english right okay look at the screen today we are going to start with the washing machine so do you have a washing machine well, i don't think that it's luxury these days i mean a lot of homes they have the washing machine so if you have a washing machine you can use this collocations with the washing machine andun daane kai andun ganne kai ne godak kiyanne api hmm you can say put the clothes in the washing machine washing machine nikata and don't take a dan put it in the washing machine put your clothes in the washing machine put in put your clothes in the washing machine now global nathi ekama de ai me keep asare ak kiyanne collocations ehema thamai api practice karanne ekama de keep asare ak kiyanne 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 mokada wenne apita hondata purudu wenawa mataka hitinawa collocations kiyana ewa so put your clothes in the washing machine put the carpets in the washing machine put your sarees in the washing machine put the bed sheets in the washing machine and if you want to say that look at the screen gand washing machine ekak his karanna empty the washing machine empty the washing machine usually after washing your clothes you say empty the washing machine washing machine ke his karana empty the washing machine put the clothes in the washing machine empty the washing machine put the clothes in the washing machine empty the washing machine right so you had the freezer can you remember yesterday we were talking about the freezer put the meat in the freezer take it out from the freezer and now we have the fridge fridge and fridge kata api ken fridge exam ne api palle hakara ne fridge kiyanne neda hmm look at the screen you can put put something in the fridge keep something in the fridge and chill something in the fridge very easy in the fridge in the fridge in the fridge out nangithe take it from the fridge take it out from the fridge right you so you put cheese in the fridge you put butter in the fridge you put vegetables in the fridge you put fruits in the fridge you put milk in the fridge you put the sauce in the fridge you put the leftovers in the fridge puta put the leftovers in the fridge put the leftovers in the fridge ituru kama fridge ekata daana put the leftovers in the fridge put the leftovers in the fridge and then make sure to keep this medicine in the fridge after you open or after you like uh after you consume especially dairy products kiri waling hadana products dairy products they always advise us to keep them in the fridge keep it in the fridge keep it in the fridge you can keep medicine in the fridge you can keep your dairy in the fridge you can keep the meat in the fridge you have to keep the meat in the fridge okay you keep something in the fridge keep it in the fridge and then you can chill something in the fridge chill wine in the fridge chill juice in the fridge chill uh somebody have chill karane liquids wage eva chill karala ganna chill water in the fridge cool karala ganna kela api kiyanne chill it in the fridge right chill something in the fridge put something in the fridge keep something in the fridge take it out from the fridge put something in the fridge take it out from the fridge keep it in the fridge chill something in the fridge those are collocations okay so very easy learn these terms and give instructions simple as that okay let's look at some other verbs that you can use in the kitchen oh i have beautiful pictures can you see the pictures look at the screen okay i'm going to highlight each one when i talk about it okay hmm. 
First you have peeling a potato. So when you are cooking, there are collocations that you use. I told you, I learned a lot of collocations. Not only these, a lot of other collocations through reading um, blogs and recipes from the internet. I never go for the single recipe, right? Because purposefully, I'm a person, I love to read recipes, okay? I'm going to give you a tip. Monkey and mung recipes, so I personally love to read about like read things on how to cook okay I'm, I'm, I'm really fond of cooking uh, so I make it a point that I read these recipes in English. I read recipes in English. Most of the time I read recipes in English unless and otherwise. If it is a Sri Lankan recipe where you have it in Sinhala, like if it is a Sri Lankan, um, uh, if it is from the Sri Lankan cuisine, uh, the dish you are preparing, if it is in Sinhala, then I will read it in Sinhala. Otherwise, I always go for the English recipe. Because I want to practice the collocation, so I want to learn the terms in English. Uh, because uh, that's that's one of my areas that I like to like uh, increase my the number of words I know. So I read it in English. And you learn a lot of collocations. Cooking kira kyan eva ki apni English language. If you are like into cooking, let's say you have your own YouTube channel. If you're watching us, right? Or let's say you are a person who instructs others on how to cook. Learn these recipes in English, and it'll be useful for you, right? Okay. Kusi apni karan mein varadi ka palu. Ela bolu tika hari. You can peel a potato. Peel a potato. Know that it's different from cutting a potato. Cutting a potato means cutting a potato and peeling a potato. You don't have cut here, right? No, you don't have cutting. So I'm going to write the term cut. You can cut, oh God, not the. You can cut, you can cut a potato. Cutting a potato can kapanama, that is kapanama, right? It's not peeling. So some people say cleaning a potato, clean. That is what cleaning is. Pirisi do karana. I mean, just you hold it uh, to running water. Galagene na matro ralala. Usually from the tap, you clean it. Sudha karana ma. Right? But peeling a potato kani potu arina ma. Potu potu ghana kela pe kani use again. You peel potatoes. You can peel onions. You can yeah. You can peel potatoes. You can peel onions. You can peel carrot. Peel it. Potu arina. You can peel mangoes, right? You can peel oranges, peeling. Peeling, you can say peeling, it's not cutting. Cutting is cutting. Anything, right? So peeling, cleaning, cutting, and chopping. Have you heard the term chopping? What is chopping? Chopping is usually, if you're reading recipes, you must have seen this verb. Chop the, chop the onion. What is chopping? Chopping Like cutting is not When you say chopping, usually you chop ginger when you cook. Ginger Right? Ginger api chop karani saamane. Mokata ginger kiye neka api hoodhata dhano kota mukakkari maswal tari munatati dhano kati ginger wala. Tiena titta gatiya adue na maara. Puriira dhan Christmas cake ke misra hathe na maha dhane. Dhukura api you chop the ginger preserve. Chop. Kiya ni poti yata kapa na. Chopping. Cutting doesn't have to necessarily be small pieces but cutting is loku enna thulwa. Chopping. Peeling suddha karana. Cleaning. Uh, cleaning is like you can wash and clean the vegetables before you put it in the fridge. Okay, so four different things. Thank you. I'm going to put on the instructions then. Puta, chop the onion. Chopping is put it in Puta, or do even the sons can do it. Peel the potatoes. Alagadiya putu arin. Puta, uh, cut the onion. You don't have to like chop, cutting, you know, take a look at it. Right? Uh, 
right okay next one the second one look at the screen you have picking up peas oh can you see it if i like right okay so let me use another highlighter you pick up something from the fork from the spoon you can eating gun so peas kadala you pick up peas from the fork get a wing or it's difficult to pick things up from the oh no if it is a salad and you can pick things up you can pick the vegetables up pick up vegetables from a fork you can gun pick up pick up pick up next one the third picture you have beating eggs before you make the cake you need to beat eggs with the fork or sometimes you do it with the whisk or sometimes you do it with the uh you do it with the fork right or beater you beat the eggs beat the eggs can it beat the ragana before you make an omelet you beat the egg beat the eggs and you can beat the egg yolk you can beat the egg white me want to practice karan balanna puta beat the eggs for the omelet bittara gahanna omelet ekata you can tell you can instruct your uh, children to do that beat your egg, beat beat the eggs for the omelet bittara gahanna omelet ekata beat the eggs for the omelet beat the eggs i'll see you after the break Welcome after the break, and you are with other than an education, the English Council. We were beating the eggs before the break. Bitter gehewa, beat the eggs for the omelet. Beat the eggs for the cake. Bitter gahana wa. Right, okay. Next one is look at the picture. You have slicing the bread here. I'm 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 hungry. Can you please slice the bread? Can you please slice the bread? Can you please slice the bread? Slice the bread. Kyaane pang gediye peti kapan. Oh, I'm hungry, Amma. Can you please slice the bread? Oh, Putha, give me a minute. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. So I'm peeling the potatoes. Oh, give me the potatoes. I peel the potatoes. Here, make sure that you peel it properly, okay? And chop it. Chop it. Uh, okay, I'll slice the bread for you. Slice the bread. Pangi diye peti kapan nang. You can slice the bread. What else can you slice? Sometimes you slice the meat if it is a meat loaf. Pangi diye wagi hunda ni gang tiena ehi ma mastekala tiena. You can slice the meat. slicing and then next one you have who oh, serve yourself you serve yourself can it be dagan now we are be dagan now please serve yourself beta can how to get the table now they are sitting at the table and you have set the table okay right now you can ask them to please serve yourself beta can please serve yourself serve yourself please serve yourself serve yourself i'm serving myself i'm among bedagan no i'm serving myself i'm serving myself please serve yourself right serve yourself and then when you are eating you can use a knife and a fork right it's not fork fork yeah it's a different meaning fork tails ke logo hati ape gami arata yana katha that's fork it's fork right so uh two different things right using knife and fork using knife and fork so you can use a knife and a fork or sometimes a spoon to eat you can use a knife and a fork to eat use a knife and a fork to eat use a knife and a fork to eat i want a knife and a fork Serve yourself. Please serve yourself. Okay. Thank you very much. Can I have a knife and a fork? Because I usually use a knife and a fork to eat. 
I'm not okay. So knife and a fork, especially when you are dining, um, when you are dining with guests at a hotel, usually use a knife and a fork. Knife and a fork. Right. Next one. Look at the screen. You have stir the soup here before you serve yourself. Before you serve yourself some soup. Before you before you serve yourself some soup, stir the soup well. Stir the soup well. Samhara lauta ke na me. Us soup pe ka bedaga na kani hundra handi gaala bedaga na why sometimes you have all the good things in the soup in the bottom. Soup pe ka google dekha lete soup soup bowl leka gato soup bowl leke right. Yatta ta gi bahala ti na okuma ah me vegetables if it is chicken soup you have all the chicken like. In the bottom. So you say stir the soup well before you serve yourself. Stir the soup well. Or you can say stir the curry well. Stir the curry well. When you are cooking, you need to stir the curry well. So if you are preparing kiri hodi, you know this trick, right? You must you must have heard this. Kiri hodi hada di hala you know, huh? Kiri kati gahen ne nati wena to like avoid the lumps. You call kati gahen wa kela lumps, right? Lumps. I'll write it down. You need it. And do it to him and then key and then key and then you can use it. You can use it. Oh, the highlight is very nice when you write from it. Oh, let me use the pen. Right, okay. Lumps. 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 So, you can instruct your daughter. Put out here. You need to stir the, uh, what do you call it? Kiri hodi. Okay, we usually call it kiri hodi, right? Okay, let's say just the curry, the, the milk curry. I'm quite sure what you call the kiri hodi, okay? So let's call it kiri hodi. Puta, when you're making kiri hodi, you need to stir it well. Stir it well, otherwise, you'll get lumps. 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 Can kiri kati hai? Stir it well. Stir it well. Honda ta handi ganda, okay? You need to stir it well. So when you see lumps in your kiri hodi, you know that, okay, this person has not stirred it well. Honda ta handi ganda, nati hindu tamai. Kiri hodi kati di enne. Okay, you can stir something up. Right, so these are about like cooking verbs, collocations. Kusiye me tamay inne adan na thika. Kusiye me inne wa. Kusiye me kusiye hari ya gidra kati na deva. Gan tamay me thiye ni. Right, look at the first one. The cupboard. The cupboard is well out of. Oh, sorry. The cupboard is well out of kids. The cupboard is well out of reach. Right? The cupboard is well out of reach of the kids. Simply you can say the cupboard is out of reach of the kids. Out of reach of the kids. So out of reach of the kids. Now you can say not only the cupboard, the knives. Right? The knives are well out of reach of out of reach of the kids. Babala take a langa in the berry tarang durin tiene. The knives are well out of reach of the kids. Well out of reach or out of reach kira kya na pulang out of reach kuna ta langa in the bah. Well out of reach of the kids kira kya well out of reach kila well out of reach. Well out of reach, well out of reach. Can hunda ta, hunda ma hunda ma placement take thi enne ka hunda ta place kalla thi na. Ah, ek amount kalla thi na hari ma thay na well out of reach kila. Can hunda ta plus one place kalla thi na ka baba la ta langve na bari ve na. So it is well out of reach of the kids. It is well out of reach of the kids. Baba la ta langve na bari ve na thi enne. And the cupboard is empty. Oh, the cupboard is empty. Or the the almirah is empty, or you can say the cabinet is empty, or cabinet can a cutlery cabinet where you keep your porcelain, your spoons, your cups in it. The cupboard that cupboard is called the cutlery cabinet. So the cutlery cabinet is empty. Oh God, oh, my cutlery cabinet is empty. I need to buy something, right? And look at the third picture you have. So sometimes wives at home they may complain. Oh, I know that our shelves are well out of reach of the kids, 
but I find it really difficult to reach the shelf when I want to take something. I found it, look at the third one. I find it really difficult to reach the shelf. You reach the shelf, Kilakiani, Mata, Hariyamari, maybe making, maybe tattooing the Aggana shelf, can tattoo Agni, right? Very difficult to reach the shelf. Very difficult to reach the shelf. Here, here, uh, you can tell your husband, here, 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 Baba, here, Baba. It's very difficult to reach the shelf. Can you take that bottle for me? Can you take that bottle for me? It's very difficult to reach the shelf. Can you please take that bottle for me? Right? And then finally, because it was difficult to reach the shelf, right? The shelf just collapsed. Shelf just collapsed. Collapsed, it collapsed. The shelf just collapsed. It collapsed. Collapsed. It collapsed. It collapsed. It collapsed. Right? I mean, these are some of the words you may use in the kitchen or at any place that where you have cupboards and shelves. Right? Okay. So uh, finally, you have. Yeah, finally. Oh no, not finally. Right? Look at the screen. Right? You have some other collocations, very easy collocations, I would say. The measurement words in English, those are also collocations, noun of noun collocations. Maybe not collocations, but you can say a bowl of soup. Bowl of soup. Soup pick a bowl like it, you know, it's not ball of soup, okay? It's okay, give give them a close-up of mine. It's a bowl of soup. Bowl. Bowl. Bowl of soup. I have a bowl of soup with me. I'm going to serve soup. Okay. Here's a bowl of soup. Bowl of soup or soup bowl. It's a soup bowl. A bowl of water to wash my hands after dinner. Bowl. Bowl. It's not ball. Ball is bowl. Eh? It's a bowl. Bowl. Bowl of soup. Bowl of soup. It's a bowl of soup. It's a be it, it, it is a tasty bowl of soup bowl of soup and then you have a sugar bowl look at the screen you have the sugar bowl again a bowl bowl sugar bowl or a bowl like uh, not a pot but uh, it can be like made out of glass or porcelain bowl like a bowl you can either have a bowl of salad a bowl of salad bowl like a a bowl of rice a bowl of rice bowl of rice a bowl of salad look at the screen bowl of salad a bowl of salad you see bowl and then you have a pile of plates you pile of plates can a pigang a pile of plates be careful of the pile of plates pile of plates pigang a pile of plates and then you have plate of soups yeah sometimes the soup can be in a bowl or it can be in a plate plate pingana kati enna pana tikak patali bowl ekak tikak rawne right plate ekak tikak patali galeta barai a plate of soup and a dinner plate so these are some of the call these are also collocations you know that i mean ogolu dita that meema collocations yes these are collocations meema api kiyala 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 huru vela apada den eva huru vela kiyala kiyana these are collocations and finally right the sink is blocked so when the water is overflowing this is water is overflowing we say the sink is blocked so yesterday I had to clean the pipeline of my sink because the sink was blocked and it was overflowing it was not actually overflowing but there was a block so the sink was blocked so I had to clean the pipeline right the sink is blocked look at the screen sink is blocked Sink like a block, well, it is blocked, it is blocked. Or oh, he left a huge pile of dirty dishes. Pile kiela kiyane, godda gahala kiyane katat meeni ne kadeyne pula. Hemen tarra pilivar te godda gahane katat tapi kiyena. Pile of dirty dishes. Here, look at the collocations in the sink. He left a huge pile of dirty dishes in the sink after the party. So I never keep pile of dishes in the sink after parties. Because 
when you keep pile of dirty dishes in the sink your sink will definitely be blocked because all of that oil in those plates so make sure that you don't pile the dirty dishes in the sink don't pile the dirty dishes in the sink especially at night because it's really uh it's not good right it's not good to keep the dirty dishes the piles of dirty dishes in the sink at night so wash them and clean the sink before you go to bed um anyway have a great weekend i'll see you bye bye